friends welcome again in this video i'll show you how to verify a retail kif id that we had created in earlier video so i'll log in with the another user id and click the mouse cursor here or just enter you can enter also right this will open i have entered here right now again this fields come on your computer since we are verifying a qfid retail qfid it will be done in the crm solution here right so this is crm only qfids are created in crm rest all of the work is done in fin code password is changed here signature verifications is done here signatures are uploaded here in the system right so there is a file which has to be uploaded other signatures now we are verifying a retail key id i'll click on this crm it'll ask me are you sure you want to change the solution i'll say yes okay so this screen appears here now you can see here now i am a checker here right so kif retail Edit entity, entity queue, new entity. When I had created a retail kif ID as a maker, I had clicked on new entity and customer. Now, this is I I am a checker, so this is lying in my queue in my tray here. So entity queue here, I'll click on this as a checker. I'm this is for kif corporate, yeah, right? Operations here we do all the due dub checks, negative checks, duplicate checks, right? or we want to verify any account negative list of the rbi so i am clicking on this entity queue here now self submitted for approval right this tray these are the tray tray tribe and action this is in my tray as a checker right as i will move to my tray i will be entering kif id here typing here 4 times 4 one nine three five here right now I click on get here not on submit click on get here very simple right entity has been successfully moved to the self tray so as I did get it came into my tray now I'll be verifying from my own tray here right this comes here you can see here Deepak Gupta's account I had opened kif id this is a hyperlink right submitted created open right this is financial crm right so this is all there right okay i'll click on this checkbox here and click on this hyperlink here bone entity assign entity i'm assigning to myself here right so this window appears here it's very simple So group tray to branch authorization, branch authorization, right? Save assign entity. Entity has been assigned successfully here, right? Again, I click on this checkbox here again. Now again, login from Q entity here, right? Okay. Entity queue here again submitted for so again I'm typing again here 1935 click on get self tray here click on this here checkbox here now you below you can see current process step here right click on this so you get this hyperlink here you click on this current process step here click on this hyperlink here validate documents checklist right click on this so it says here i right, don't have to verify here anything here right progress Validated documents checked. 
was saved successfully here. So system is taking set a time here. So meanwhile you can note it down and keep noting down the points. This will help you and you can see revisit the videos also. I will be uploading documents also, some material also, write up also on that, right? So I think it's taking certain time here on this, right? So this has moved here. Now this stands verified here, right? Okay. So this was very short video, wherein again I'll show you how you can verify various fields that has have been entered here. Again I'll go on entity queue. Then here business general group here, right? then branch authorization here, BCG here and I will type TFID here 1935 here, click on get, sell tray, now you get this, now right click on this hyperlink here, you can view whatever has been entered by the maker, customer details, right current processes, audit trail, right, customer details can be seen from here, right, activity history, audit trail, everything can be here, customer details again here, so I will click on new, don't have to do anything, edit for editing anything, verifying, assign entity, click on this here, checkbox here, Again, current process. Again, here, hyperlink here. Click on this. It's taking certain time to open up, right? So, this automatically. Now, you can see here there is processor. Either you can approve as checker or close, data will be lost, or duplicate. You can say it is a duplicate, or you can reject also with the reason. So since I am approving it, I will drop down, I will glow, glow on this, right, and I can enter notes here, I can approve this process here, set approval form, approval was done successfully, saved successfully, click on OK here, now this stands verified here. So this I have shown you how KIF retail ID can be verified, I will show you another one also, another video where it will make it very clear for all of you, right? So this is how we verify a retail QF ID. Now after this, this has be to be linked from CRM to FinCore through a command HCCFM, right? Since all other account opening, transactions, RTGS, NEFT, transfers, cash deposit will take in FinCore, I have to migrate this data from CRM to FinCore through a menu option HCCFM which I'll show you in your next video here okay so kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel or you can come to my website also like we can help you I've got a lot of write-ups on banking there thank you so much